Hello and welcome to today's session. Today I'm going to show you how to add location for the IPs that you can find on Moodle under your user profiles. So this is only for admin, but if you give others rights to view the IPs, it could be possible for them as well. And that means uh, for the managers of the Moodle site as well, managers of a course. So let's take a look at it by going into a Moodle site. This is called Moodle for Teachers Integrating Technology. Since I'm an admin and I want to set it up, I'm going to go into Site Administration. Over here, I'm using a theme called Move, M-O-O-V-E. Let me go into the administration over here. Next, I'm going to go into the search so I can search for the location. You can add IP or location. That's fine, but not both words because it's not going to work. So there, I'm going to search for it and then scroll down until I get location settings. No point in looking down at what's here for the IP lookout. You need to go into location settings in order to set it up. Click on that and notice the information that you need here. First of all, you need to have, let me scroll down, IP lookup. That's what it's called. And it comes with every Moodle. You don't need to install it. It's part of the course. So IP address lookup. You're going to get this by default. Just uh, copy and paste it if it's not there. And then you need to add your Google Maps AP1 V3 key which you will get, and there's a link over here where you can get it. So let's go into that link right now and get it. So there we go. We're going to click on it and notice you get this page. Now you need to get started with your own account. So click on the get started. If you don't have an account, click on it. Notice I do have an account with my Gmail. You don't need to have an organization account. Next, I uh, have a few projects. Notice what's available here. There's the API, that's what you'll need, and the credentials. And of course, you need to go into one of yours or create one if you don't have one. Notice I've got quite a few because I've got quite a few Moodle sites, but if you're gonna start a new project, and I've got videos on this, so let me know if you're interested in them, or you can just Google it, Nelly Deutsch, and whatever you're looking for. API for Moodle. So there's a new project. You simply create one. I'm going to go into this one so I can showcase the one that I'm using by clicking on it or by going into open. Notice now it's up there. So this is what you get when you have it set up for you. And then I'm going to go into APIs and the credentials. And I've already set this up. So I've got all my API. Notice I have them for the map. So if you scroll down, you'll see the additional APIs that I have. Here they are for the map. And these are the only ones that you need. You need to have a geolocation API, a maps embed API, and map JavaScript API, which is really your most important one. So make sure you only get those. How do you enable them? Let me know if you're interested in more information about this since I have this on another site. Next, you're going to go into the credentials. I've already set them up. And as I said, a video is available to these. At least a few are available because Google keeps changing things. So there we are. Now I've got a key and I've got web client. Web client is for authentication. You don't need that unless you're authenticating using uh, Google, Gmail. You're going to go into create. And this is how you do. You simply go into create. So you can create your credentials by creating one here. I'm going to show you what you'll need to add to it by going into show key and the three dots. This is where the information is. So if you've got problems and the information doesn't work, make sure that you go into edit key and have all this information. This is necessary. So first of all, you give your key a name. Okay, so this is, uh, you can create a copy of this. So you add a name for it, doesn't matter what you add. For me, it's API key two. And then you're going to go into website. Let's scroll down and then add. 
Okay, so you're going to add the following. You're going to add the name of your site with the information there. You're going to add an HTTPS with a full site and then the domain. And that's it. After you've done that with your site, yes, not mine, you're going to click on don't restrict. Don't restrict because otherwise it's going to take a lot more. And um, I can help you with that, but so can Google, and it's a long process. So then you save it, and that's it. I'm going to cancel since I don't need that. I've already got it. Next, you're going to go into Show Key, okay, over there, and you're going to copy the key. Okay, this is how you copy the key by going into Copy Key right there. So Show Key over there. Okay, here we go. Show Key and then copy key and then you close you copy the key and you close that's always available for you all right next you go into the moodle we're right here and this is where you add the key and it's that simple so simple and of course it's free you're not going to go for the paid version so don't restrict or they're going to ask you to pay all right so now i'm going to go to one of the users so let me go into users over here so i can show you what it looks like when I'm not, I want to know where a user is coming from. Now, this is really important for some courses where you want to know what countries, if you're teaching uh, from around the world and you want to know what countries are involved in your courses or conferences and so on, you're going to go into that. In fact, let me do that now. I'm going to go into list of users in general. Okay, so I'll choose uh, this one that just came up. I notice. Um, uh, this is what you do. This is just an aside when you want to suspend someone. I don't know. This is really fishy. Koi fish pound pound and notice the information here. It's info dot pet animal wildlife. And I'm against that. But just to show you their IP, I can go there or to their name and get their IP so you can see where they're from. Let me click on Koi fish and then there's the IP now. I have set it up so that only admins can view this uh, because it may be information that they don't want others to know. And then I'm going to click on it. So let me click on it. There we go. And notice what I get here. There, we know where they're from. They're from New Delhi. Okay, so now I know where this person is from. Okay. And, and that's it. That's how you do it. And then you can just write down the names of the countries. Now, this is for those who don't add their name. If they add their countries, then you're in a better position. So what they should be doing, actually, is uh, going into edit profile. And you should ask everybody to do this. Sometimes I require it and I provide them with a badge. And this is a requirement for courses. They can't enroll in a course unless they have this. And this might be a good idea for you as well. So they need to scroll down and then they get to select their country and they get a badge, as I said, for doing that. How to set up the badge, a global badge for the whole site and the users of the site. That's another video that I've created in the past. So you can go into that and get that as well. So let me go into India. So I know where they're from. Since they didn't add it, it wasn't a requirement. Uh, India. There we are. There's India. And then remember, when you do this, you're going to save. So update profile is a way of setting it up. All right. So that's it. We've got India as their country. And if we go into their IP address, last IP, it's India. If they move around, that may be problematic, but I'm sure you can figure it out. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment below and subscribe for more. Ask questions if you want to a video on anything related to Moodle, please let me know. Thank you.